Hi friends, welcome back to All Things Kawaii. Today's video is going to be a Tim Holtz Hobby Lobby haul. Um, there is a ton of vintage little ephemera pieces. Um, it's not like a lot, but there's a lot of pieces per pack and I just wanted to go through them and we'll open them up one by one together. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you love stationery, journaling, cute things in general, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here as always and let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, really quickly, I just wanted to say happy October. I'm so excited. As I'm filming this, it's October 5th. It's a Wednesday, and I have waited for this month all year long, and it's finally here, and it's spooky season. The weather feels a little bit different, and I'm just so excited for Halloween. Let me know down below what you're going to be for Halloween if you're going to dress up. I really want to uh, either be your from Spy Family or um, Sailor Saturn from Sailor Moon, but I really don't know. I probably am going to be your more than likely, but we'll see. We'll see if I get the costume in time. Um, but anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the first two items, which are not Tim Holtz items. Um, so this is just kind of random, but it is a cute little picture frame with this pig and it has like this black and white buffalo check. So cute. I love the light wooden frame as well. This was $3 from 12 bucks. It was on sale and I thought he was super cute. So I got him and I just wanted to share my little pig picture with you guys. The other thing that was random is this paper studio um, folded cards and envelopes to get 12 um, and these were $2.99. So I think they did have a sell on the paper studio like card section. I think it was 40% off, um, but I thought these are really small and perfect for um, like little thank you cards and stuff. And then I can like decorate them. Those are always good to have. So I got those. Okay, so for the Tim Holtz items, these are the items that I did get. Now they did have 40% off. When you go to Hobby Lobby, guys, just make sure that you check to see if they have any deals. Sometimes they won't have anything for a week or two, and then they always have like a continuous sell. Um, one of the employees told me that Tim Holtz goes on sale every two weeks. Um, sometimes it's 40%, sometimes it's 50%, most of the time it's 40%. So I will never have to pay full price for it. Um, I've been super into vintage journaling. Um, if you watch my channel, you know that I have a traveler's journal that I use specifically for vintage kind of like junk journal um, kind of style. Um, so I wanted to get more vintage like stationary because I don't really have much vintage. I have more kawaii, more colorful, and that is definitely my style, but I also am obsessed with anything vintage. So the first thing I have here is this uh, Tim Holtz Ideology 24 double-sided sheets. Uh, these are backdrops. This is volume one. They did have another pack as well, and this is what it looks like. It's super cool. So these are the front and the back. Um, I'm going to open these up, but it says an eclectic collection printed memorabilia papers. Um, and this was $10.99, but then 40% off with it as well. So let's see. Ooh, it feels really nice. So this is like pretty thick, like paper. It's kind of like, um, not as thick as like scrapbook paper, maybe a little bit thinner, but it's not like cheap computer paper either. So it's good quality, um, paper. Um, they are all different. At first I was like, I don't know how I feel about um, it being double-sided because you only get one of each and it's double-sided. So you can't really enjoy the whole piece, but you know, it's fine. But there's just different things like receipts and cards and stuff. Oops, I just dropped something. This here is really cool all different types of like muted colors and I just thought these would be really fun to kind of like flip through and look at individually and just really bask in how pretty all these papers are. I always watch a ton of um, YouTube videos, um, people that actually go like to flea markets and stuff to um, buy actual vintage ephemera. So like actual like photos um oh this is beautiful with the butterflies this is something that you could definitely even like make a collage with on your wall um a lot of all of these you can do so much with scrapbooking of course journaling anything um but anyway but this is kind of like an easier way to get these the kind of vintage look 
because I know sometimes that can be pretty expensive. I've done it before and they were selling the pictures for like four to five dollars each. Um, but there were some booths that you can definitely find where they were selling them for like 25 cents, you know, and it's really cool. It's just cool to have. This is like a pattern. That is so awesome. This is really fun to look through. Got this one. It's a cigar box. Interesting. Different letters. This one is, you can see it has like that worn down look and it looks like somebody wrote something here and then erased it. Got like different like receipts and stuff. I can't imagine writing like that. That is pretty cool though. Boots and shoes. And then this one looks like there's like water damage or something on it, but it's a really pretty print. Oh, I love this floral print. Love this floral print. Robert Dudley, glass oil paint and color merchant. 1919. Here's this one. Really interesting. It's like an old like library card, maybe. That's cool. The Midland Grand Hotel. I was contemplating just doing like an overshot of all of these. Oh, here's another one. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. The butterfly one in this one looks like they're taking out of the, like a book or something. Um, but anyway, I was thinking of doing like an overshot of all these, but then I was like, mm, I kind of want to just like actually go through each item. I know it's going to take a while, but whatever. I thought it would be better doing it like this. That's really cool. And then the last one. So you get quite a lot. This is a map. A map of London. New map of London. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so you get quite a lot of pieces here. Uh, this is volume one, like I said, by Tim Holtz. Um, and I'll try to link these items down below for you guys. Just check the description. Um, if not, just go to your local Hobby Lobby or wherever else Tim Holtz is sold. But yeah, overall, I'm very happy with this pack. So 40% off. It was like, what? um like six dollars something like that around there but very cool i'm very happy with that okay next up is this clippings sticker book this one was 6.99 with the 40 percent off so a salvaged assortment of adhesive backed phrases words and numbers um i have one other sticker book and it is the um the typical like black with the white font or vice versa the white with the black font and I love using those whenever I just kind of want to do more of a scrapbook type of style thing where it's just like layered and I don't actually want to journal um, on that spread that is perfect to like fill in gaps but I thought this one was really cool and you get 622 stickers so they're just like a bunch of neutrals different types of neutrals there's like different like tans and like creams and stuff and I like how the print of the words are different. Some are bold, some are, you know, in caps. Um, his eyes were bright. One must have patience, my dear. She stood her ground. There seemed no more to say. Random ones. Um, here's another one. Um, the happiest moment, magic and truth, just at that moment. All the beautiful stars of the sky, love and abundance. This is our journey. And these stickers are really good quality too. They're nice and thick. Um, from the clouds, very kind-hearted, cast of characters, knowledge, which costs nothing. They gave no more thought. I wonder if this is like text from actual books or something or articles. Over a cup of tea, admission, goodness of the heart, all the fairy tales, her mother's heart. <laughs> Interesting. I probably could just like literally read all of these. <laughs> Reflections of each other, promise me one thing, the heart of mine over the mountains. And then the last one. Her eyes were shining. She could believe and very much wiser. And voices soft and sweet. Oh, wait, no. There's still more. Oh, my gosh. That was the last page. The love within my heart. My sweetheart. Orders attended to day by night. Today or night. <laughs> the last of flowers of summer. That's sad. <laughs> Remembrance of good things. Of things to come. The traveler. True friend. The night is pierced with stars very poetic <laughs> but this is really cool yeah I really like this and this is gonna last me a minute too so I, I'm happy with this 
Next up, um, I have these little small ephemera pieces, these three packs. So this first one is called Layers Botanical. Oh, these are called, they're the Layers line. Um, so they're not stickers, they're just like different like cutouts. Um, and this one was $6.99. Um, a curated collection of salvaged elements used for layering. Oh my gosh, I'm excited to open this one up. The thing is with these, I don't think you get more than one per style. So let's see. They're nice and thick too. Kind of like, almost like cardstock or scrapbook paper. We've got this really pretty blue flower. Oh, I love this rose. And it has a little bit of a gloss as well. This one's really pretty. And there's just like all these different sizes. Ooh, there's butterflies. This green butterfly is really pretty. It's like a cream rose. Hmm. Got another one of these. These are gorgeous. This one's nice and big. That one is beautiful. If you make junk journals, these are definitely great to have. I've never made a junk journal, but that is on one of my to-dos. I really want to learn how to make a, a junk journal. I think it's so beautiful. Such a cool process. I love watching those types of videos. I'm literally always watching those. <laughs> Surprised I haven't made one, but I really do want to make one. And you have more butterflies. Oh, these are so beautiful. There's been so many butterflies migrating um, here in Texas. Oh, how cute. We've got a little itty bitty one. And um, yeah, it's really cool. So like a lot of monarch butterflies. We've got these itty bitty ones. Just all different sizes. Oops, just that flower, another rose. Oh, these are just absolutely pretty. I love them so much. Oh, and there's like an itty bitty one. There he is. Oh, I love the little sunflowers. Then we've got these little pink flowers. I don't know all the names for all of these, but they're absolutely gorgeous. Got that little butterfly and then this one fell out. Oh, I like the pink and the blue. That's beautiful. This is just like a treasure trove of beautiful pieces of ephemera and I'm <laughs> this makes me so excited I love it you can never have enough a really big monarch butterfly cute beautiful oh, this is really pretty too and they're really nicely cut out as well there's a lot of pieces Wow Honestly, even if you did pay full price, what was it, seven bucks? It's worth the seven dollars because you get so many, like such a big variety. And honestly, you could like, you'll have these for the longest time. Oh, these are so pretty. Oh, this is pretty, this one. Sorry, I'm gonna say pretty like 6,000 times. Oh, there's a couple I think I am seeing that are doubles. Or never mind. They're like kind of similar, but different. Oh, this one's pretty. There we go again with the word. It's like the only word I know is pretty cute. And some more roses. You can never have enough beautiful roses. Oh my gosh. If you hear my puppies crying, it's because it's almost dinner time for them. So once I'm done filming, they're going to eat. <laughs> all right. That was a lot. So look at all of these pieces that you get in the botanical set. Yeah. I'm very excited to use all those. Okay. The next one we're going to go through is remnants. And this one was $6.99. So in this one, it says you get 83 pieces, by the way, 83 pieces. Um, this one says the same thing. 33 pieces. That was kind of like an overview. Um, so these, you obviously get like bigger pieces. So let's go through them. They're just like different little like cards. Parcel post. I 
And the cool thing about these is they're also great if you have pen pals um, or pocket letter friends um, or if you do stationary swaps. That one's fun. Enjoying the sunshine and surf on the Gulf of Mexico. Hmm. These, again, you could even use, like I said, like a collage on your wall. Main Street Canyon, Dallas, Texas. Wow. This looks like maybe the 40s. Looking down Jacob's Ladder Trail, Massachusetts. That is so pretty. Greetings from Water Meat, Michigan. All of the beautiful scenery different buildings that's cool i need to go to the eye doctor i haven't been to the eye doctor in forever <laughs> it's so bad <laughs> um interesting oh, another little post i like how they did how it's kind of like rounded off on these corners that's cool i can't read the handwriting though for the life of me densmore the ball bearing type bar joints mark and era in typewriter construction broadway new york doesn't say the date. Oklahoma City Public Schools. Somebody's 1914. Who is Kirk? Laugh bomb? I don't know. I can't read that. Bryant School, grade five. Hmm. Okay. Lots of A's and B's. <laughs> Whoever that person was, <laughs> they did pretty good in fifth grade. Swinton's language lessons. This would be really cool on the front of um a junk journal. I'll learn like any of these. <laughs> Obviously. Ooh, this one's cool. Palmistry guide. The tell tall. The tell. Okay, I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna get tongue tied. Map of North America. So pretty. Oh my gosh, a bingo card? Stop. I'm gonna actually use this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um the culture monthly dollar per year sample copy free. Looks like an order or something. Oh, this is pretty. I love the botanicals or anything with that. It's beautiful. Rubber stamps, Henry Moss and Co. Incorporations. Specimens of handwriting, self teaching system. Ooh, that is pretty cool. And then we have this, which is like in French. And then standard Atlas of the World, New York City map. Okay. All right, so those are remnants, and yeah, I like these. Um, you get, you get you don't get as many pieces like the other the botanical, but of course you get a lot larger pieces in this set, and yeah, you get a ton for your money. All right, the last item in this haul, um, this one is paper dolls solos, and this one was seven ninety nine. So it's a bunch of like actual like vintage photos that are in black and white so it's a gathering of clipped vintage portraits used in collage or mixed media i used to collect old photographs like this when i would go to the flea market till one time oh it's halloween i can tell you a little spooky story i have this one quick if you want to skip over this oh i'm gonna take no more than a minute okay i got this old photo this was like back in 2016 it was at a flea market in wimberley and i remember i had it on one of my shelves and it kept falling off even though i had a rock in front of it and it was like right behind a book and everything there was no way it was gonna fall off it kept doing that every day around 2 to 3 a.m and i was i'm a night owl i stay up very very late <laughs> very late um and I thought it was just, you know, the wind or something, but there was no wind in my room. So, you know, I was just trying to think of logical reasons. Anyway, it kept happening for a week. And I remember I woke up one day and it was literally right across the room. And so was the rock. So there was no way that it just fell, you know, that that picture was thrown, including that rock that was holding the picture up because it was kind of like this with a little like gemstone rock right in front of it. Um, yeah, so that was really creepy. Um, and then the picture went missing. So I don't know if it grew legs and ran off. Um, it, yeah. Remember my parents, they were like, you need to throw that picture away. That picture is evil. <laughs> They're like, you don't know who that person is in that picture. You don't know what they've done. <laughs> like, They're bringing negative energy into this household. Uh, me and my like 
my weird collections, but I haven't collected pictures since then. I just, I just kind of like just stopped. I kind of want to get back into it though, but anyway, that was just, it was not really a scary story, but kind of is kind of a little creepy, weird. I don't know. I never got an explanation to it, but who knows? Um, but anyway, so let's go ahead and go through these little clippings. So we have this woman here. This is probably from the tens, the teens, teens. Is that how you say it? This little girl. It's so creepy though. And like thinking about it though, like these people, they were, they were people, they're people, but they were people. Look at this gentleman with this little top hat and now they're they're gone it's very like um it's sad i don't know i kind of feel weird like looking through these because <laughs> i mean they're real people oh her dress is really pretty um they all had stories they all had names they had families oh he's got his little dog with him how cute this cute little girl with her little basket of flowers Mm, some Helen Keller vibes. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> it's just because, like, you know, Helen Keller, the whole thing that happened. Not Helen Keller. Oh my gosh. Um, no. What's her name? Lizzie Borden. Not Hel Helen. Ke well, also Helen Keller too, because it was. Um, that was like I think the late 1800s when she was alive. Um, but I'm thinking Lizzie Borden, just because I I saw Lizzie Borden the movie like a couple weeks ago. And so anytime I see, it reminds me of Lizzie Borden, like the style. Um, anyway, but they're really cool. I love all the fashion though, throughout the, throughout the years and the, the centuries, the decades, like it's so cool just seeing how we've progressed, how things have changed, like the styles, like even for like little children, like look at her cute little bear that's probably haunted. Um... I always think I'm like I can only imagine like what these people would think um, if they saw how we dress now in 2022. Yeah, just like how society like constantly changes and the world is constantly changing. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite! Oh, this dog is so cute. He looks like a little Jack Russell. There's a lot of pieces and they're all different sizes too. Some are larger than others. Some are just standing, some are sitting down, like she's sitting down. She looks really happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we've got this gentleman, this little girl. Oh, she's cute with her little umbrella but anyway yeah there's there's oh my gosh there's so many of them so many pictures yeah anyway um, recently I just picked up a ton of pictures from my parents and uh, from my childhood and um, I'm actually gonna be like using them in my scrapbook like an actual scrapbook not just like layering pieces and not actually putting real photographs <laughs> in it um, so I'm excited and a lot of them though they're not like very good quality I think it was during like my photographer era back in I don't even know. I think when I was like 11 or 12, I love taking pictures of like flowers and like the sky and stuff. And they're really bad photos, but I thought they would still be pretty cool to use as ephemera. You know, don't want it to go to waste. Might as well use it for layering and stuff. Here's these little kids. She's got her little doll and this, this lady with her fur coat. But yeah, so that is Solos. All right, friends, so that is everything in this Tim Holtz Hobby Lobby haul. Let me know down below which pack is your favorite. Um, I know this probably was like a very long video for only a few items, but you know, 
it was fun going through each of these while on camera and like kind of getting like first impressions. I know this isn't makeup. This isn't first impressions Friday or whatever. <laughs> um, but you know what I mean? I think it's really fun. And all the Tim Holtz line, they have, he just has so many cool things and I want all of it, but of course can't buy them all at once. Definitely going to go back to Hobby Lobby um, very soon and pick up more pieces to add to my Tim Holtz collection um, now that I'm growing for my vintage journaling. Um, anyway, with that being said, um, don't forget to check the description. I'll try to find these and I will link them below. And if not, just check your local Hobby Lobby. I don't know. If, I don't think Michaels has Tim Holtz or do they? I don't think so. But um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And as always, stay kawaii, my friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.